what is the division property of inequality? Well, let's look. The division property of inequality starts out like this. We have numbers a, b, and c with c not equaling 0. Now, since c does not equal 0, we have two different options. We have c is greater than 0 and c is less than 0. First, let's look at when c is greater than 0. So, c is greater than 0. When c is greater than 0 and a is greater than b, then a divided by c is greater than b divided by c. So, if we divide by a positive number on the left-hand side of our inequality, we must also divide by a positive number on the right-hand side of our inequality in order to preserve the inequality. Same thing goes if we start out with a being less than b. If a is less than b, then a divided by c will be less than b divided by c. Now let's look at the other case, when c is less than 0. So, if c is less than 0, or c is a negative number, and a is greater than b, then a divided by c will be less than b divided by c. Here, because we divided by a negative number on both the left and right hand sides of our inequality, we must flip over the inequality symbol in order to preserve the inequality. Let's look at the other one. If we have a is less than b, then when we divide by a negative number, we flip over that inequality symbol. So, we have a over c is greater than b over c. So the division property of inequality states that if c is greater than 0, we do not need to flip over our inequality symbol in order to preserve the inequality when we divide by c on both the left and right hand sides. But when c is a negative number, we must flip over our inequality symbol in order to preserve the inequality when we divide by c on both the left and right hand sides of our inequality.